ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another round of the RSF 1F4 Division here around Hungary. This is the fourth to last race. I can't remember what round it is, but that's what we'll go with for the moment. There's four races left, including this one, with our championship leader, Lincoln, who finally broke his duck last time out and actually won a race. Now, can he go back to back? Can Milsey close the championship lead? Can Call It Star get himself back in the championship contention? There's a lot of questions to ask. Even Button. Button's an outsider for the championship at this point. Kachel slipped away, I think, a little bit too much. But Button is an outsider. But I think it's between uh, Lincoln and Milsey at this stage of the championship. But it's going to be an interesting one to find out. As you can see, we're already in Q2. We've only got 13 drivers of, uh, racing tonight. Very, very poor attendance for F4. And, um, yeah, we have to just work with it. So there was no official Q1, so we just skipped forward to Q2. And, as you can see, everyone's going on the medium tyres. Trick 2 Pines is thinking about the softs at the moment. And if you commit to starting on the softs, that's Owen loses the back end. Owen's in the wall. Owen's also done his fastest lap on the soft tyres. So he's now trying to beat that on the mediums, but he did not back off on his soft lap. So he's not going to be able to beat that. So Owen will be starting on the softs as well. As well as Trick Two Pines, and I don't know who else currently has them on. As Lincoln goes, P2 on the medium compound tyre. So Trick Two Pines, Owen, and Bizarre Mike now on the soft go through, knocking out Primus, Immortal, and Milsey. As very surprisingly, starting 13th place, the championship contender. Big chance for Lincoln today now. To go ahead and extend his championship lead. But Millsy does normally qualify quite poorly. And um, yeah he normally comes back in the race. So don't count Millsy out just yet. As Desbro goes fastest. Behind him you can see Bizarre Mike. Uh, nine temps off him in second at the moment. Trick 2 Pines has also binned it. I've only just noticed. Trick 2 Pines is out of qualifying. He's put it in the wall. As Lincoln's currently provisional pole. Button's coming around the... Final corner now with five minutes remaining. What can Button do? He goes P2. Just off of Lincoln's lap. Now Owen's coming around to complete a lap. What can Owen do? Can Owen put himself into qualifying contention at the front? Can he put himself in the pole position? No, he can. He's P4 for now. Now Fish ticks across the line, starting a lap with Lincoln backing off to begin his final lap here in qualifying to see if he can keep his provisional pole position. Now Kachal around the final few corners. He is going to be able to set a lap here. Maybe potentially go for another one. Comes around the final corner. Where can Kachal put himself? He puts himself on provisional pole. Kachal's provisional pole right now. Now Cornet Star looks like he is either on a lap or preparing for a lap. I think he's preparing for a lap. Lincoln now preparing to start his final lap. He's qualifying. Come around now. He's got 27 seconds to get around. And what can he do? Will he be able to set a provisional pole pole position lap as you can see now button starting a lap with a few seconds left desbro coming around the final few corners absolute drama here at the end of qualifying what can desbro do coming around the final bend as we switch to his teammate desbro comes to the line now what can he do where's he going to put himself he goes does not improve actually stays p5 owen's done in qualifying fish stick's done finds obviously out mike's done invalidated and it looks like uh Old Mansi, yeah, Old Mansi's pitted. Now it's between Kachow, Lincoln, and Button. As Kachow loses the back end and puts it in the barrier. Kachow is out of qualifying. And his teammate on the same lap. Within about 10 seconds of each other, Button's now out. Both Aston Martins have put it in the wall here in qualifying. Now it's up to Lincoln and potentially Cornet Stars. Cornet Stars on a good lap behind Lincoln. You can see the McLaren dot coming around the final few sectors. He looks like he's on a good lap as well. Lincoln coming around the final corner now. He can he nail the final corner and take pole position back as he bursts the line using everything he's got nearly out of fuel and he sets a 15-3-9-7. He goes provisional pole. Now it's up to Cornet Star. What can Cornet Star do as he comes to the line and he takes pole position? Cornet Star takes pole position with a 15.393, beating Lincoln by 0.004. Also beating Kachal by 0 .00, uh, 0 0.011. What a close quality this is. Wow. Now we run you through the grid for the race. We've got Millsy starting down in P13. 
in the Haas card, looking to keep the championship, uh, championship standings close. And it's going to be damage limitations from here. We've got a mortal P12 in the lonely Williams today. Primus Gaming in the lonely Alpha Ro Alpha Tauri. Whoops, nearly got that one wrong. In P11 with the fresh tyres. Then you got Trick2 finds a soft starter down in P10. Bit of a poor performance from him in Q3. Bizarre Mike, another soft performer from Q2, starting in P8. Or P9, sorry. You've got Fish Ticks in P8. With old man Z in P7. With his teammate just in front of him in P6. Then the other soft runner of NUFC Owen in P5. With Button in front, who shares the grid with his teammate. That the second row, uh, RSF Chow. Then the championship leader, RSF1 Lincoln, starting in P2. With the pole sitter, Cornet Star. Let's get into this. We've got up to five red lights. And it's... Oh, Cornet's jumped the start. Cornet's jumped the start massively. I don't know what's happened. But Cornet has absolutely massively jumped the start. And from what I'm aware, it was a clutch pedal. The clutch pedal decided to completely just give up on him. It didn't work. And that's why he jumped the start. You can see him just go. He went so much earlier than everybody else. And that is Cornet Star's race ruined already. The guy that was probably hands-on to win this race has already been taken out of it by a mechanical failure with his wheel. This is very disappointing for Cornet. But now we go around. As you can see, everyone side by side. The Haskar down the inside there. Bizarre Mike on Old Manzi. Millsy is now back to 13th. He's taking it nice and carefully, trying to stay out of danger, stay out of trouble. As you can see, he's lost so much time now. He's already about eight seconds off the leader after half a lap. So that's not ideal for him. But now Cornet leads the race right now. Owens in P2, Pichal P3, Pines P4. Lincoln has dropped to P5, so a very, very poor start from the championship leader. He's dropped down to P5. You've got Button P6, Desperate P7, Primus P8, Immortal P9, and Fish 6 P10. As you can see, Cornet comes in to serve his drive through penalty. And as you can see, he's crashed in the pit lane. So Cornet's start is out. His wheel disconnected, wouldn't turn for him, and he's binned it in the pit lane. None of his own doing. Very, very unfortunate there for Cornet. As you can see, Pines, who started P10, is already up into P2. He's made up eight positions on lap one, but he's being battled by Kachow. Kachow's not giving up this position nice and easy. Kachow goes on the inside, slight bit of contact. Can Trick 2 Pines hold it around the outside on the soft compound tyre? He's still there. They're still side by side. Very good race for the two drivers. As the pit stop strategy pops up at the bottom of the screen. And that is a lovely move there by Pines. He's up eight positions here. What an amazing start as Owen leads by 1.8 seconds. As you can see, we're going to the position changes now. So Owen's up four, Pine's up eight, Prime is up four, Immortal up four, Millsy up four. And some of the red names there I can't actually see because they fade into the back. But it's been a drama-filled start of our pole sitter. Obviously jumping the start, which is very, very annoying, but none of his own doing. As Kachow now on lap five goes down the inside of Pine's. As Pine's and soft tyres are starting to go off now. Soft tyres are useless around here, especially at the start of the race. As Chichal makes that move, now it's all up to Lincoln. Can he get past his teammate or will his teammate let him pass? We're going to find out very soon because Lincoln is homing in on the back of Pines. Now, as you can see, Chichal hasn't really gapped Pines yet. But coming around this corner, you can see Pines pulls to the side, lets him go. Lincoln's got past Pines. Very good team drive in there from Trick 2 Pines. Now, he'll probably box very soon, if not this lap because his tyres are looking really ruined. But I know he has stayed out for one more lap as we've got a crasher. It's Immortal. Immortal's crashed and he joins really, really unsafely. Millsy probably has an absolute panic attack as he comes around the corner and sees a Williams car rejoin him right in front of him, not knowing where he's going to be. But gets away with it. No damage, no, no harm caused. And we move on. As we have a yellow flag and it is Immortal. Immortal is out of the Grand Prix. He is crashed and it brings out a VSC. Now all the drivers can just relax now. Go at a set speed. As you can see, Owen's just cruising. Oh my god! Kachow nearly hit the back of Owen. I don't know if Owen had to go to a, a speed limit there, but Kachow didn't. And it was very, very close. As Button gets a drive-through 
penalty for speeding under the virtual safety car. And the drama continues here in F4 as it has been going all season. It's been drama after drama after drama as now Kachow is starting to attack Owen who's on eight lap old soft tyres. Now those so soft tyres must be absolutely awful at this stage of the race as he takes the lead nice and easy. Next thing you'll see is probably Lincoln making the move on Owen because Owen will not be able to keep the pace that Kachow can run now on those soft tyres. He'll be lucky to even be remotely close to him by the end of the lap and in DRS range. He is struggling on those tyres now. I would box very soon if I was Owen. As you can see, lap 9, he's in now. He's 1.7 seconds behind the leader as he comes in, as Lincoln gets P2 off of him. Now we settle down for a moment or two in this race. As you can see, the leader, Kachow, 1.1 seconds ahead of Lincoln. Now it's 1.2 as Owen sets the fastest lap of the race on his fresh, hard, compound tyre. Now we've just got a little calling periods we say but right now as things stand Millsy has found his way up in the P4 as Trick 2 Pines has lost his entire front wing and that is not ideal for the Mercedes driver he's going to box now and potentially call it a day I don't know if he will but he might he might carry on and I do believe he did call it a day there as Owen now trying to attack Millsy Millsy's on 15 lap old hard tyres to Owen's 5 lap old tyres. This should be a comfortable move. Owen loses the back end. They get caught together and Millsy unluckily turns Owen. But I don't think there was anything he's doing. But Millsy's obviously taking the blame for that one as Millsy wakes up. Very, very sportsmanlike driving there from RSF1 Millsy. And you wouldn't expect anything different from the lad. He's a nice guy. And that is very, very good from him. I like that. I like that touch. But we continue for now as Owen is now in front of Millsy after he made the overtake slash spin slash mistake. Now we got fish sticks down the inside there of Millsy. Side by side. Looks like Millsy just about keeps the position for now. But fish sticks is not giving up. He's going to attack again. He's going to go down the inside. Thinks about it. Millsy turns into the corner at some point. He had to. And he keeps the position for now as fish sticks has to settle in behind and wait for another opportunity. Now you look in, in the background, you can just see everybody settled down now into this race. And it's just going to be a bit of a cruise control now for everybody. Because this track is very, very notoriously hard for overtaking on. As Lincoln boxes now, he's going for the undercut on Kachow. It was about 1.1 seconds when he came into the bit lane. Maybe 1.2 as he's now hoping that that undercut is going to be very, very powerful. As Fishstick now attacks Millsy, trying to go round the outside. Just in front of him, we've got Primus Gaming, who's now going to be caught up in the middle of this. Millsy's trying to attack to defend down the inside of Primus. Goes in a bit late, catches the rear tyre of Primus, spins. And as he spins, he catches the rear tyre of Fishstick. And Fishstick also spins. And that is unfortunate. Now both drivers are waiting as Millsy... Speeds into the wall on the inside there, trying. I don't know what he was doing on the rejoin, but he's managed to get damage on the rejoin. He had no damage before that, and he drove into the wall, and I don't really know why. But now you can see Kachow box the following lap. What can Lincoln do? Is he going to be anywhere near to Kachow? As Lincoln sets the purple final sector of this race, it's going to be really, really close. Kachow, you can see coming out the pit lane now. Where's Lincoln going to be in comparison? He's going to go up and under. Can he get close? He's within two temps now. So it, that undercut has worked, but it was only about an eight temp advantage. And now Lincoln is stuck behind Kachow in the dirty air. And it's all about just settle down into this race. Lincoln doesn't have a penalty. Kachow does. So if he just stays within three seconds, he will be winning this race. But there's so long to go now. There's drama. Anything can happen. As Lincoln's following Kachow through this middle sector. Kachow on obviously cold tyres. At a minute and he spins. Kachow has spun. And I don't know if he's got damage. Yes, he's got damage. Kachow's race is run. He will not be winning this race now. Kachow has had a major, major mistake on cold hard compound tyres. He has spun. As you can see, he's moving out of the way of his teammate. And that is awful news 
As you can also see, both Aston Martins are sporting the Williams George Russell helmet. That's all for Sir Frank Williams, who unfortunately passed away this week. And um, yeah, you can see the drivers love him, and he was done. He's done so much for the sport. As Primus now makes that overtake on good Chow. Now Primus all over the back of Owen loses the back end, but is he still going to be able to make the move? He's got the overspeed. He's not got the ERS advantage anymore. He's run out, but he can't make that move yet. Primus did this last week. He used all of his ERS and had nothing to attack with by the end of the race. He looks like he's managed to do it again. Old Manzi gets another time penalty, or his first time penalty, sorry. As he's following, well, he's got Desbro following him. He probably won't hold up Desbro, seeing he's now got a penalty. He'll probably let him go. As you can see, he's let off the throttle slightly from the looks of things. Down the inside for Desbro. Manzi breaks earlier, runs a little bit wider, lets him out of the position. Now behind them, you've got Kachal, who's trying to recover after his spin. As he's already passed old Manzi. Now Owen, all over the back of Button. With Primus Gaming, all over the back of Owen. We've got three cars now in this battle. Who is going to come out on top? Lincoln is now 9.9 .9 seconds up the road. He is quite far ahead now. You've got these three cars battling tooth and nail very close to each other. All of them have got a chance at a podium here. Kachal sets the fastest lap of the race. Fishsticks has pitted. I wonder what happened there. Fishsticks has boxed for a fresh set of soft tyres. Maybe hoping for a late safety car potentially. As Owen tries to go down the inside of Primus. Down the inside, good move from Owen. Will Primus hold it there? No, he doesn't. Primus slots in behind. And that was drama. We can just settle down now. Bit of calm in this race, a bit of relaxing. And hopefully nothing else is going to happen. No more drama. My voice can't take it. And uh, as you can see, Mike's crashed. Mike is out. Oh, Mike's retired in the pit lane. His AI's come back onto the track. And unfortunately for Owen, Owen has collected that AI that's rejoined after Mike retires. And he's retired and brought out a safety car. That is so unlucky for Owen. He was looking good for a result tonight. And that safety car, well that um, retirement from the AI from Mike, that has really, really cost him. Now we've got a five lap sprint to the finish. Who is going to win this race? Any of the top four can. Millsy potentially still could, actually. But it's going to be all about the restart. When will Lincoln go? Can he time this restart right and catch everybody napping? He's just cruising at the moment. He's not gone yet. He's not gone yet. Now he's gone. Lincoln's gone nice and early. He's caught out everyone behind him. Now they're all panicking to try and get some traction. As you see, Primus loses the back end. Button gets no traction off the corner. And Lincoln is already... Nearly eight tenths clear. Going on to the pit straight, he's seven tenths clear. Can he keep this gap going? What an amazing restart that was. Now he is at well ahead. Fishsticks down the inside of Kachow. Or was it Kachow on the outside? Fishsticks gives Kachow no room at all. Kachow trying to hold it in. He's not going to give up this position. Goes down the inside. Lovely move there from Kachow. And he is past Fishsticks. That is a very good restart. As you can see, a bit of contact between the Aston Martin, the Alfa Romeo, sorry, and the Ferrari in the background of Desbro and Fishstick, but we get away with it without any sort of dra too much drama there between the two drivers. As Lincoln's already got a 1.3 second gap at the front. Now it's 1.6. I think Button may might have made a mistake through this middle sector. As you can see, Primus all over the back of him. Lincoln's race to lose now. He is miles ahead. He's gone. He should win this race now. That's Primus Gaming. He's just cruising along. He's got Button in front of him. Kachow behind him. What is going to happen here at the depths of this race? Kachow is looking very racy on the back of Primus now. He's thinking about a move down the inside. Primus decides he's going to turn in, but it gives him enough space there. Lovely racing between the two drivers. He... Kachow goes slightly off the track there. Bit of contact. And he gets a time penalty for it. Now Kachow is going to be looking very racy. He wants to get past Primus as fast as possible. Very, very harsh penalty picked up there. But to be honest with you, it was going to happen. You don't really attempt to go side by side there when you're not fully alongside each other. Now you can see Button is still there. As this has given Lincoln a three second time buffer at the front. So even if he does get a time penalty now, he'll be fine. 
He is gapping the rest of the field massively. As Kachow thinks about a move but doesn't go for it on that lap. Lincoln is still leading. As Kachow goes down the inside of Primus. And Primus turns in. And Kachow has spun on the back of Primus Gaming's car. Which now pushes Millsy up another position. millsy has got no time penalty. So Millsy could be on for a P5 here. He's looking very, very good. As Lincoln now comes around the final corner to win back-to-back -back races and get a hand on this trophy. Brilliant race for Lincoln. Well done. As Button's going to get P2. And it's all about whether Primus Gaming or, or Fishtix is going to get P3. He's going to be close. And it's just Primus. Fishtix get P4. Millsy P5. Old Mounty P6. Desbro P7. And Kachow get P8. I hope you guys have enjoyed this race. I've been Chris12LFC. And I will see you later.